With the start of school less than a month away for students in the Sioux Falls School District, school officials continue to update the Return to Learn plan. Well, today, a 123-page document was released outlining some of those plans. Kettle and Sarah McDonald breaks down some of the information. One area the Sioux Falls School District's Return to Learn plan focuses on is different models of instruction. These models are traditional learning, modified on campus, and remote learning. That whole system of it where we start with the traditional learning and if we need to, we would go to the remote learning. That would be the same group of, of teachers and students. Uh, if we need to, we'll also go to the modified on campus, which could be we're having only half the students in at a time or a fourth of the students in at the time. And that's been mapped out for the whole year. Assistant Superintendent Jamie Knoll says if the district is in one of the models, an individual school may be in a different model depending on the circumstances. It may just be located at one school that there's a significant issue. In that case, it could be that we send that school into the remote learning process and we have them stay at home. The teachers work with those students, but the rest of the district can continue on with their, their activities and, and their educational settings. Students may also choose to enroll in a virtual academy. That is a, a commitment that we're asking families to make for a year. Uh, there is an option in there that if they need to, to be able to, to petition and make a request to end at the semester time. But that way we have the ability to staff that appropriately. The deadline to apply for the virtual academy is August 7th. In Sioux Falls, Sarah McDonald, Kelloland News. The first two days of school are a modified schedule, which means your child will go to school either on that Thursday or Friday, depending on what letter their last name starts with. Nold says that is a way to help everyone adjust to all the changes. The plan is for most students to start with in-person in instruction, but there could be changes. Kettleland.com reporter Ray Yost has more on how the district may determine which of its instruction models may be needed during the pandemic. We've also posted the entire Return to Learn document online on Kettleland.com. Minnesota.